mukbang, a mukbangin, mukbang, a mukbangin, mukbang, a we hangin, we bang, a we bangin. What's up, Yummy Biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we are having 12 baked lobster tails. Y'all, it's my first time cooking lobster tails in an oven. Like, I usually fry them or boil them, but bake them today. They look good to me. Um, I added oranges, y'all, because I wanna see what oranges and lemons taste like on, like drizzled over the lobster tails. And I have some cucumbers. And I have the beautiful V-Loves sauce. Y'all, this is the mild sauce, but I made it spicy. All right, and I have my tangerine lemonade. Uh-huh, yes, y'all, mm. Mm, delicious. And, y'all, today we are gonna be doing the don't wipe, try not to, Either you can call it try not to wipe your, your mouth challenge or don't wipe your mouth challenge. I call it don't wipe your mouth challenge, y'all. And um, I am the creator of that challenge. I did that challenge, y'all, I think around eight months ago. So anyway, let's go ahead and pray for the food, y'all. Lord, please bless this food, Lord God, and apply it to my body in a nourishing manner. In your name, amen. Y'all. Oh. Got my napkins, y'all. You know, I'm not even gonna put it. Should I put them in a shot? Anyway. All right. So let's take one of these bad boys. Oh my freaking gosh. I'm so excited, y'all. Like, I can't wait. And I need a thumbnail, too. <laughs> I need a thumbnail, so we're gonna get that in, too. Happy Sunday, y'all. Happy Sunday. Y'all let me know what y'all are eating with me. Come on now, stuff. Y'all, it's hot. Look at that. Oh, my freaking gosh. All right, so I'm going to put some, ooh, orange on there. A little bit of orange juice and some lemon juice. And we're going to see what it do. See what it tastes like, y'all. Ooh. Give me my plate, Lord. <laughs> Who wants a yummy bite first? Mmm. Delicious. Y'all, I'm hungry. That's why I'm shaking. Oh, my God. I'm starving. Mmm. 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 -hmm. That's it right there. That is it. Oh my God. Oh, that's so good. So good. Yeah, I don't have my uh, cucumber sauce. So, sorry for the people who like to see that. <clears throat> I just didn't have time. Y'all, the kids are on their way. I just hope I finish before they get here. Mm hmm. Y'all, I was just about to grab a napkin. Mmm. Had to make sure that daggone mic was on. Okay. So, I know y'all see by the title. The title. Um, it said, I don't know what I'm going to name it. I think truth. Truth about um, the don't wipe your mouth challenge, okay? Because... I feel like I need to like clear up some rumors and like let's clear some things up that people I, I don't believe like understand. But um and I just want to start off by saying this video is not to bash anyone. I support everybody in this community. I'm just speaking my truth and um 
Like, y'all, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I felt like I needed to say something because I feel like people were confused. So let me start. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I came up with that challenge uh, about eight months ago. And... Mm. People are telling me this is not your challenge. This is such and such a challenge. Um, you know, I see this person's name in the title of all of the um a, a lot of the don't wipe them out challenges. People are saying that this is his challenge and <clears throat> that this is this person's challenge. And I'm just like, huh? You know, so, I mean, he shouted me out in his video, okay, with, mm. which I definitely appreciate, I appreciate everybody was shouting me out in the mm challenge and the don't mouth, wipe your mouth challenge. I appreciate it so much. But since w some of the instructions were for people to put his name in the title, <clears throat> I think people got maybe a little confused because really they were supposed to, um, you know, tell the people who was the originator of the challenge and say that he tagged them because that's what it is. I'm the originator of the challenge and he tagged a bunch of people. Now, people were saying that he recreated it. Now, I'm trying to figure out how somebody can recreate a challenge with the same rules. It's the same rules. Don't wipe your mouth. Don't wipe your hands. Um, you know, period. <laughs> uh, so I, I don't know what other rules that I didn't say, um, that would have made this challenge so much more different. The point is not to wipe your mouth and your hands, not to wipe anything. Don't use any type of napkin. It's the same challenge, y'all. Um, so it wasn't recreated. Now, if you want to say that um, he brought it back up, then yes, he did. He brought it back up, but he was not the creator of the challenge. And y'all, let me tell you something. Some people might say, well, um, who cares or whatever. Now, if you're not a YouTuber, you probably do feel that way. But YouTubers, when we come up with like, you know, challenges and stuff that everybody's doing, you want to be recognized for it. You want to be. Any YouTuber will tell you that. You want to be recognized for it. Now, people don't have to give you recognition. They don't. But most people do because it's out of respect. Because you know somebody else came up with that. You know, great idea that went viral or everybody's doing it now. Um, mm. Mm, mm, mm. What was that analogy that you came up with earlier? It's like having a birthday cake with your name on it. And what you say? And somebody else wipe your name off and put their name on it. And somebody wipe your name off and put their name on it. That is a perfect like example. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? That's what it's like, honestly. Um I take pride in the fact that I came up. That was a good challenge. Both of them challenges some good challenges. Thumbs up this video if the mm challenge and the don't wipe your mouth challenge is a good. Those are two good, really good challenges. There are actually challenges. Now, there's a lot of other challenges out there that people are doing. 
that are um that are good challenges also. Um but anyway, I just I, I appreciate everybody who has done either one of the challenges. If you didn't know that I was the creator of the challenge, well then that's cool. That's cool. But I'm just letting y'all know, y'all should, y'all should shout out the creator of whatever challenge that you're doing. Um, like I said, though, you don't have to, you don't have to, because I've seen some people do the, um, the don't wipe your mouth challenge without, without saying anyone, really, <laughs> anyone, me or, or him. Um, so, you know, there you go. You don't have to, but it's just, to me, it's out of respect. That's all. It's out of respect. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, y'all. The cold is getting much better. I haven't been taking any medicine. Um, I've just been taking the uh, emergency. I've been drinking uh, lemon ginger tea. Excuse me. And drinking water, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 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 Yeah, I want to wipe my hands so bad. Mmm. Well, congratulations to everybody that's getting monetized. Like. <laughs> The C Circle, congratulations, girl. Y'all, she was on live the other night. Acting up, y'all. They were so crunk over there. It was so much fun. <clears throat> so much fun. I saw some of y'all over there in her life. But, um, yeah, that was fun. So much fun. What y'all did this weekend? What y'all eat? Y'all, I ate some of the best food yesterday, y'all, for my daughter's um, birthday lunch. Oh, my God. From this place called Gracie's. Y'all, if you are from Houston, y'all have to hit up Gracie's. It's not the Jamaican spot. It's the other spot, y'all, off of Kirby. Y'all, when I tell you, oh, my goodness. Yeah, y'all need to try the orange, y'all. Try the orange. Try the orange with the lemon. With the lemon, y'all. Mmm. Yes. Delicious. Ooh, who wants a yummy bite? Mmm. Yes, Lord. I can't put it too far. I don't want to waste all over the flow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all been stretching this sauce when I tell you. I've been stretching it. <laughs> I added some more butter. I added some more seasonings, some more ginger, onions. But the thing is, it's kind of losing its red like color. So I'll be like, but she come out with some more. Cause I'm gonna order more than one this time. Like, Jesus. Mmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm doing really good. Look at this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. That's some good juice, boy. Let me tell you. But... Yeah, y'all. And I don't want to seem like I'm, you know, I did it, uh, you know, it's mine. It, no, that's not how I'm coming at y'all. Because, y'all, this is not the first time that this has happened. Trust me. It's not. But then, I just wasn't saying nothing. I wasn't saying nothing. People knew what was up. But I just wasn't saying anything. Um, because, y'all, I'm really not that type of person. Because this type of stuff gives me anxiety. If you want me to be all the way real. Like, anything that's potentially going to turn into mess, it, it just gives me anxiety. 
And um, you know, a lot of times I don't want I just don't want to have nothing to do with it. You know, y'all know I don't like to be in mess and all of that type of stuff. Uh it turns me off. It doesn't make me have a good day. But, um, yeah, I just felt like, you know, I needed to say something. People needed to know, you know, um, that, you know, Yummy Bites TV was the creator. Yummy Bites TV. <clears throat> yeah, but, you know, and I'm not saying that he did anything um, maliciously, but I just didn't understand the fact that he was telling people to hashtag his name in the uh, title. If you do that, people are going to think that's your challenge, especially if they don't say who the creator was at all. They're going to think it's your challenge. And, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's kind of disheartening. And I don't want to, you know, spend too much time on this. But I had to say something because I'm tired of being the quiet one, not saying anything. Even my my audience notices, you know, when I need to take up for myself and I just don't, you know. Mm. Like I'm a grown woman. I need to start speaking up for myself. You know what I'm saying? You know, people gonna say what they gonna say. Everybody's not gonna agree with me, but I'm speaking facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You can think what you wanna think. But I'm speaking facts. Like I said, I'm not saying everybody knew, but he did say my name all through his video. And also, Big Loves is one of the biggest mukbangers in this community, you know, shouting me out for, for being the creator. And I really appreciate that, Big Loves. I really, really appreciate that. Because <clears throat> she didn't have to. She didn't have to. Don't nobody have to. We just appreciate it when you do. It feels good. Now, let me tell y'all why people come up with challenges. Oh, and just let me, let's just let me say that, like, I'm really proud of the Mugman community because um, these challenges that we're doing, it's, it's actually bringing us together and it's making us meet new people, you know, having us talk to people that we don't usually talk to. And I, I've been subscribing to a whole lot of people, a whole lot of people that I didn't even know anything about. Um... And the only way that I knew about them is through these challenges, y'all. Because I keep getting tagged with the don't wipe your mouth challenge and the mm challenge. So, I'm watching the videos, y'all. I'm sharing some of them. I can't share them all, you know. Excuse me, but I'm sharing some of them. Um, but I'm about to explain to y'all why people come up with challenges. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. People come up with challenges, y'all, because... They want to get their name out there. They're trying to grow their channel. I'm not saying everybody do that, but the majority of people who are making up challenges, coming up with these different challenges, they they want for people to know who they are. So they want you to put their name in the title with that challenge. You know what I'm saying? But when it's not something that you created, like, you know what I'm saying? What kind of stuff is that? Like, if you didn't create it, but you want your name in the title, like, it just, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Um, but 
You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. People, and sometimes these challenges go viral and, you know, people start subscribing to you because, you know, <clears throat> because of the challenge. Just because of it. Just because you came up with it. And, and that's what happens, y'all. I think, um, anyway, uh, but yeah, that's what happens. And, um, and I was just so proud. I was so proud of the Don't Wipe Your Mouth Challenge that I felt like that was a really good one. It was a really good one. Um, it just did pop off, you know, I guess because I don't get a whole lot of views or whatever and, you know, stuff like that. Um, and that's another thing, y'all. And I'm just being real. But sometimes people try to take advantage of you because you don't get that many views, you know. And not that many people are going to see you. So, you know, it's really easy to, you know, try to take something from somebody. Not saying that somebody did that to me. I'm just saying. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, I, you know, for all of the, the new YouTubers, um, if I were y'all, okay, because this is what I do. If I do a challenge and I saw somebody else do it or it came from somebody else, I'm going to shout that person out. Because I would want them to do the same thing for me. You know? You, you read what you sow. Because how would you feel if one, you know, if you made up something that was amazing? Uh, or you made something that was amazing. And, uh, you know, somebody just snatched it away from you. Somebody bigger. You know, they had more of a reach. And they, they just, you know, I know y'all want me to bite this. What if somebody snatched something away from you that was like your baby, you know? How would you feel? You'd be like, dang, it went viral and everybody thinks that that person did it, but it was really me. Dang, that's messed up. Yeah, you gotta move on, because that's what I have to do. I gotta move on, you know? You gotta move on. I'm not about to dwell on it. I'm just going to move on. Make up better challenges. More challenges. You know? And just move on. But for everybody who is even doing the challenge, um, and they don't even say my name, I'll go into your comments and I'll say, thank you for doing the video. Thank you for doing the video. They're all entertaining. So, I would suggest that y'all, <laughs> y'all go watch some of those challenge videos, the mm challenge videos, and the um, don't wipe your mouth challenges. Y'all, they're freaking hilarious. Hilarious, y'all. Mm. I also want to talk to y'all about Summer Walker. Y'all, people are just really coming for her because she, you know, didn't want to do the tour and stuff anymore because of her social anxiety. And y'all, I feel her, oh my God, I feel her so much on that. I have the same thing. And just her demeanor and how she carries herself, you can just, you can tell her concerts. When she had brought, um... <laughs> It was one concert that I watched on YouTube where she brought out um, Usher. And Usher kept looking back at her like, what she gonna do? Cause she kept, she was just standing there singing like far away from him. It wasn't even close to him at all. You know, maybe she got a man, who knows, you know? But it just looked weird. Honestly, it just, it just looked awkward and I don't know. I know she don't have to be all dancing up on him and grinding on him or anything, but she could have been, they could have been like, I don't know, like, giving a show. Okay? Usher was giving a show all by himself. But she can sing, though. Like, you can't take that away from her at all. She can sing her behind off. The kids are here, y'all. Y'all can say hi. Your son was talking oranges. He said, yeah, yeah. We're so happy we came here. He said, yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> I was like, oh, the oranges. He said, yeah. I, I uh, put that on, too. It's good. 
orange and lemon. Mm -hmm. You want one? You want one? Oh. Bobby, really? Bobby happy. Lele, I I'm filming, sweetie. I'm filming, sweetie, okay? So, what was I saying, y'all? Yes, yeah, Summer, Summer. Summer Walker, y'all. Yeah, I feel her. Like, you know, people are getting their money back, so it ain't like she's taking people money. But, mm -mm. like, if you can't do it, you just can't do it. Like, I remember when I was in college and I had to um, present a paper that I had written, right, in front of the whole class. When I tell y'all that I got, it was like I got stuck, like, cat, the cat, like, got my tongue, y'all. I stood up there and I didn't say not one word for, I don't know how long, I don't even know how long it was, y'all. People were just looking at me like, y'all, it was so embarrassing. I couldn't say anything. Mmm. I was so nervous. I was so nervous, y'all. I just couldn't even control myself. Why I had to do that paper? First of all, I had to get some points taken out, a whole like grade, letter grade, and I had to do it in front of <laughs> the professor with nobody else around. Y'all, that was the, oh my God, I was terrified. Terrified. And it seemed like it just got worse as I got older, y'all. See you later. Be careful. Okay. All right. Mmm. 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 -mm. I don't think I'll be able to eat all of these, y'all. <clears throat> so, yeah. Moral of the story is, y'all. <clears throat> just try to give people their respect because everybody trying to come up on YouTube. Everybody is. You know? Everybody wants their challenge to go viral. Everybody wants that. <clears throat> you know? So respect somebody else's want for that also. <clears throat> because <clears throat> <clears throat> Woo, y'all, cop and attack. Because if I did somebody's challenge and didn't mention them, I would feel terrible. I would, I would feel bad about that. You know what I'm saying? I really would. Like I said, I know he did mention me in his video. But it was the way that he told people to do that video. To where they thought maybe this is his video because he's saying he's re- He's, um, what, redoing it or uh, revamping it? Like, it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't revamped. So. Same challenge. Same person who created it. Anyway. I hope you already thumbed up this video. Anyway. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my old heads, my old subscribers, my yummy biters. Everybody's my yummy biter now. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys understood what I was saying. This was um, this video was not um, meaning to you know bash anybody or throw shade. Nothing, nothing like that at all. I just wanted to get on here and clear the record. You know, get the record straight and speak my truth. That's it, y'all. And give y'all a little bit of information that y'all can leave with. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all did, please, oh, follow me on Instagram at Yummy Bites TV. Okay? Follow me on my family vlog channel at Yummy Bites TV behind the scenes. And yeah, if y'all enjoyed this video, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, and we'll 
will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. I just flung that daggone me um, butter on my neck. I passed that challenge, baby. Sure did. I didn't wipe nothing and look at my mouth. Who else have y'all seen that was this clean, Jelly Bean? Oh my God. <laughs>